like it's not special anymore. It's like it's not special anymore. Like it's too close. I don't know, it seems like every time we're over there, me and Melly go there. It used to be Buffalo Wild Wings we always stopped at. Yeah. But now we stop at Steak and Shake all the time. I don't really aim for Hamburg that much. I'm not really aiming really because I'm going to eat somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been to Wings etc. yet? No. You? No. Or that Undo's place. Dude, we should go there now. You just stop streaming and go, it's wing day. Yeah? Today's wing night. <laughs> I think it's like 50 some cent wings, which I don't know how good that really is. Yeah. I think Buffalo Wild Wings has 60 cent wings, so I think it's only like a few cents cheaper than Buffalo Wild Wings. I mean... But I don't know how good their wings are. Or what flavors they even have. Um... Soldier that I need. Oh shit! Okay. I wish maybe next week. Hello, well, during otherwise doing good. Then he asked Brian if he's had second chance. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be sponsored, right? Skilled soldier, or he might be further in somewhere. All you guys are fairly good. Leave the rest to us. He's coming too. Roger that. Who are these guys? There's guards. They're just sleeping? Yeah, they're just asleep. You're putting them to sleep. <laughs> I'm putting them into a deeper sleep. Will they wake up if you just pick them up like that? Probably. I don't know. I've never tried. You try. It'd be funny if they didn't. I just There's, pick them up. They're like, hey! Isn't that tired? It won't give me an option to pick them up. Mm, that sucks. You gotta extract him. I'm gonna like punch, like kick him in the nest. Right in the fucking face. Well, I know how to put him to sleep. Alright, hop off here. Roll over there. Alright. Apparently, that wasn't the highly skilled soldier. Maybe on the other side of the road. Leave the rest to us. And then fucking over there. Oh. I already did this one, I guess. Oh, shucks. You've already done this mission? Well, it has a check mark by it, but it still shows up on the map. Maybe it's just saying that there are highly skilled soldiers there. I don't know. All right, let's just go to um, where was it? Let's just head to there. Quiet. Um, damn, it's a long way. Okay. I'll be able to look through the window. Well, he's a jeep. 
Yay! Now it won't take me hours to travel. Alright, so we're gonna head to the man on fire and get his remains apparently. Sounds like fun. Hopefully he's actually dead and it's actually his remains. Who can I drive straight through here? Or is this the road? Have I captured the sheep here? Where's my... I don't have them. Darn it. thought I had some little traps. I was going to leave some traps here. See if I caught something new. But apparently I don't. Alright, let's see if I can get enough money and I can research the, uh, the Fulton upgrade that we were talking about. Cause that would be awesome. All right, oh, more rewards. All right, so development. Should be down here somewhere. Oh, bandana! Her bandana, salvaged from Lake Nicaragua and lovingly repaired, lowers occurrences of serious injuries. Huh. That's neat that that shows up, though. You need to change loves from a memento. Alright. Two hours. It is researching. Let's see, is there any cassette tapes we can listen to on the way? Bandana Epic? Let's listen about Africa today. Rogue Coyote operates mainly out of Africa these days. Of the three PFs, they're the smallest. However, they scooped up most of the Rhodesian SAS after the country collapsed four years ago. Picture their entire organization as one big special forces unit. With Rhodesia Whoa. a British colony, the Rhodesian SAS had its origins in 22 SAS Sea Squadron. They started out as a group known as the Southern Rhodesia Volunteers. But in 51, they were incorporated into 22 SAS as members of the British Commonwealth and deployed to fight guerrillas in the Malayan emergency. Even now, 22 SAS keeps the Sea Squadron designation empty in recognition of their service. In a way, you could say the SAS almost makes up the core of Rogue Coyote. Later on, they were bolstered by other talent, including former Sela Scouts and 32 Battalion. These guys are direct descendants of the best special forces in the world. They won't go down without a fight. Don't get careless. Kunganga Mine. A civil war has been going on in that region for the last 20 years. It's being fought by what are now two ethnic groups, the Buta and the Mbele. Originally, you could barely tell them apart. But the reason for the current armed conflict goes back to World War I. After the war, their land was colonized by a European power, and it decided to give local control to the Buta. That split the two groups into rulers and subjects, laying the foundations for an inevitable civil war. The friction between them remained even after they won independence from Europe. 
The Buddha are holding on to power to this day, and the Mbele rebels continue to fight back. The conflict is funded by locally mined gold, rare metals, diamonds. They've used the money from those to arm themselves, buy oil, and even hire PFs. The Buta administration owns the mining rights to Kungenga Mine. There's a lot of ammo there. But most of the laborers are Mbele, who they've taken prisoner. The product they've gouged out of their land is bought up by cheap Western corporations. And the civil war is fueled by the profits. That's how it goes. One country's people is split apart by another country. Then the two groups tear up their own land for money in order to fight each other. Now this civil war started by a foreign power is the norm. You gotta extract him. All the country's resources. PFs are just the same. They follow the money, taking war with them wherever they go. That goes for us too. It's an endless river of bloody retaliation. And we are standing downstream. Should we make a stand and dodge the flow? Or wade in amongst the corpses and make a bigger splash than the rest? Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Alright. Which one do I have? Should I research her bandana? Is there something good to have? It's probably just nice to wear, right? Oh, I don't see it anymore. I must not have enough money. I must be shy. I got everything out of it by jumping underneath it. Alright, let's get going. I don't need that guy, he's not that good. No! Huh. That works. Never realized I could do that. Alright. We're almost there. I think it's that prison place. They've got a huge wall all the way around it. Can I go up behind it this way? Yeah, I gotta be close. I hate this place. I mean, I, I mean, I love this place. Yeah, Finnit. You're right. This is the best base ever. <sighs> of course there's a sandstorm approaching. Well, that's kind of good, but it's harder for me to snipe everybody. 